Hello everyone. Hopefully you're here watching this video because you want to know how to connect your DJI FPV radio to your computer so you can play a flight simulator such as this one called Liftoff or maybe DRL or Velocidrone or one of the many other great simulators that are out there. If that's why you're here, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. Luckily for us, yesterday, uh, December 2nd, 2019, DJI released a new firmware update for the digital FPV system that makes this whole process so much easier. I had an older video out there on my channel that showed you how to connect a USB to PPM adapter cable. You had to buy those from Amazon for like $10 or something and how you could make that work with flight simulators like Liftoff. And that was great if you bought the adapter and it would work, although it was a little bit glitchy, like the it wasn't a digital signal, so it wasn't super accurate. But now with this new update that came out yesterday, version 100.200, I think, uh, the December 1st, 2nd update. Now, as of that update, you can just use the same USB cable you use to update the firmware and the radio to connect to your computer and fly in a flight simulator. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is get yourself a flight simulator. In this example here, I'm using the flight simulator called Liftoff, which I have purchased from the Steam store. There's other great uh, simulators out there called like DRL or Velocidrone and a few others. Those should work in a very similar way. So what you need to do is get yourself Steam, go get a flight simulator like this one, and then, let's see, I'm going to fire up my radio probably hear it beeping there and then I'm going to grab my USB-C to USB-C cable which is what I use on my Mac laptop here and plug it into the laptop and then I'm going to plug it into the bottom of the FPV radio makes a little beeping sound and then in liftoff here I see it says that it detected pigeon or was that pigeon? Something like pigeon. So it knows that the radio is connected to my computer. It recognizes it. So then I'm going to go here into the options and I'm going to click on controls and I'm going to pick controller. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you notice that if you move the sticks around, nothing happens. So you're going to want to go click uh, calibrate and start the calibration and it wants me to move the sticks all over the place and I can see it definitely knows I've got a radio connected and the sticks are moving and that wants me to center all the sticks perfect and that wants me to move the throttle up got it move that back to zero it's a little bit hard to do sometimes All right, now it wants me to put the pitch up. Got it. Center all the sticks again. Wait for it to detect them. All right, do the roll. Center. Yeah, this takes a little while, but it's worth it. And now it's time for some yaw. Got it. Oop, gotta get my throttle back to the zero. And we're finished. And if I move it up and down, left and right, in a circle, yep, everything flies just like you would expect it to. So let's save that. And exit. Now one more thing that I really like to do is be able to change some of the, put some of the switches on the radio to control different things in this simulator. So I'm going to go into options again here, go under controls and buttons. And there's all kinds of different things you can do here with the different buttons and switches and decide what you would like to do. You can have a flight mode toggle or you can have all kinds of things. But I like to change this one here, so the reset button. And when I flip a switch, it happens to be this one on the top left corner, axis 4, confirm. Now when I crash, I can flip that and it'll be the reset button to flip me right back to that reset the quad so it goes back to the starting position. Save those settings. Alright. And let's 
exit. And let's just do a quick play. No, let's do a free flight. I'm just going to fly around, no rules, just to verify that everything works great. Yeah, let's go fly some trees, Pine Valley. Why not? And load my trusty a 507 RC Chameleon. And if all goes well, I should be able to fly. Whew, it works! Uh, let me try crashing and see if I've got the reset button working. Flip the reset, and that's good to go. Fly up in the air, flip the reset. Perfect. So, I hope you like this quick tutorial. I'm so happy that they've improved this USB connection so you no longer need the adapter and it's a very stable, perfect digital connection. And I guess that's all I've got to say. Enjoy your flight simulator time and see you next time.